Why does a negative times a negative equal a positive? This rule is not just made up. There is a chain of reasoning, a mathematical argument that shows why the rule has to be that negative times negative equals positive. Here's how the reasoning goes. Zero times anything equals zero. Every number has exactly one additive inverse. This means that if m is a positive number, then minus m is its additive inverse, so that m plus minus m equals zero. Likewise, the additive inverse of minus m is m. We want negative numbers to obey the distributive law. This says that the product of a and b plus c equals a times b plus a times c. Consider the expression, the product of 2 and 1 plus minus 1. This equals 2 times 0, which is 0. But, by the distributive law, it equals 2 times 1 plus 2 times minus 1. So, 2 times minus 1 does the job of additive inverse of 2 times 1, and therefore, 2 times minus 1 is the additive inverse of 2 times 1. 2 times 1 equals 2, and the additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. Since a number has exactly one additive inverse, 2 times minus 1 equals minus 2. Therefore, we have to accept that negative times positive equals negative. Now consider the expression, the product of minus 2 and 1 plus minus 1. This equals minus 2 times 0 which is zero. Using distributive law, we can write this expression as minus two times one plus minus two times minus one. So, minus two times minus one does the job of additive inverse of minus two times one, and therefore, minus two times minus one is the additive inverse of minus two times one. From the previous reasoning, we know that minus 2 times 1 equals minus 2, and minus 2 has exactly one additive inverse, which is 2. So, minus 2 times minus 1 equals 2. So, we have to accept the law that negative times negative equals positive.